Coup FIS Cross Country World Cup Tour arrived in Le Rousse in France to find snowy conditions greeting all the athletes. Three days of competition ahead, it was down to business for the world's best. Sweden's Ebba Andersson had been out of World Cup action since the 4th of December, as she was back in style in France. A tight battle with Delphine Claudel, the home favourite, but it was Ebba Andersson coming away with the win. And she said she was relying on the French support to cheer her on and up the pace. Sweden's Ebba Andersson with the win in a time of 24.08.8, 13.4 seconds ahead of Delphine Claudel, the home favourite from France, with Jesse Diggins from the USA rounding out the podium, finishing in third. 44th career podium for Jesse Diggins, fourth podium in the career of Delphine Claudel from France, and the third win in the career of Ebba Anderson, the perfect return to World Cup action for the Swede. Harold Ostberg Amundsen got his weekend off to the perfect start in Le Rousse with a stunning performance in the men's 10K. Leading by nearly 30 seconds after 8.1 kilometers, Amundsen was the strongest man on the day and came through to record a stunning victory. Amundsen with the win over his teammate Stuart Roth by 11.9 seconds, with the Swede William Poroma finishing in third place 17.9 seconds back. Seven Norwegians in the top 10 here in Le Rousse. It's a day to remember for the Norwegian Harald Ostberg Amundsen as he picks up his very first career win. A 30th podium in the career of Sjur Roth from Norway and Paroma picking up his third career podium. Day two in La Rousse and it's Sprint Saturday. The wax technicians hard at work and all of the athletes gearing up for what was gonna be a spectacular day. Four Swedes in the lineup in the women's final. One Norwegian and one American, and what a race we had. In the end, Christine Stavaskistad from Norway was able to hold off the Swedes and come through and take what turned out to be a comfortable victory in the women's final. Skistad taking it by seven tenths of a second over Emma Ribom in second. Maya Dahlqvist in third, also from Sweden. And the fourth Swede, Linz Fahn, in fourth, with Julia Kern managing fifth place for the USA. A delighted Skistad on the podium as she claimed her very first career win. It was a sixth visit to the podium for Ribon and the experienced Dahlquist getting her 22nd World Cup podium. Men's final was a dramatic affair. Three Norwegians, including the great Johannes Klebo, one from France, one from Sweden, and one from Italy. And it came right down to the line with photo finishes all over the field. Richard Joub from France ending up the winner just holding off the great Johannes Klebo. Joub giving the home fans a lot to shout about here in La Rousse. Nine hundredths of a second, the difference between him and Klebo. Hal Goldberg finishing in third to make it two Norwegians on the men's podium. There's nothing sweeter than doing it on home snow and Richard Jupe picking up his third win of the 2023 season and his first win on home snow in France. The third and final day of competition in La Rousse and it was a day for the endurance athletes with the men's and women's 20K Classic coming up. Sweden's Ebba Andersson was in fine form yet again. At round about the midway split, she pulled into the lead, and from that moment on, nobody was going to catch her. A stunning weekend here in La Rousse, France, for Ebba Andersson as she returns to World Cup competition with a second win of the weekend. Andersson taking the win by 22.1 seconds over Niskanen from Finland, with Slind of Norway over a minute back in third place. The women's overall standings, it's still Tyrell Utnitzweng from Norway who leads 202 points clear of Niskanen from Finland. The ever impressive, the ever consistent Jesse Diggins for the USA is in third. Delight again here in Lerus for Eva Anderson as she picks up her second win in three days and her fourth win in her career. What a stunning return to World Cup competition for Anderson. The men's 20-kilometer mass start classic was another dramatic affair. 
with a group of five riders pulling away and battling it out right towards the end of the race. In the end, no doubt about the winner, Johannes hofstedt Klebo picking up the win 1.2 seconds ahead of Niskanen in second. The five-time Olympic champion, Johannes hofstedt Klebo now has 60 World Cup wins in his 117 starts as he continues to dominate the sport of cross-country skiing. No doubt as to who's leading the overall standings in the men, it's Klebo on 1,706 points, 122 points ahead of his nearest rival, his teammate, Paul Goldberg. A fantastic three days in Le Rousse in France with great crowds and a lot of energy. The World Cup Tour moves to Toblach in Italy now between the 3rd and 5th of February. And don't forget, you can check out the Fizz TikTok account if you want to stay up to date with more behind the scenes videos from the World Cup Tour.